So the first thing we want to do is, uh, well, the white balance looks pretty fine, but we want to expand its dynamic range. And we're, we're going to do that by lowering the highlights all the way, increasing the shadows and the whites just until they peak. So you don't want to go too high. There we go. And this is just what I like to do. I like to increase the contrast and then turn up the blacks. Now it looks a little crazy right now. Don't worry. We will change this later. This just gives me something to start with. We're going to start with the channel mixer. So let's look back at our photo. We got greens, we got some uh, kind of whitish blues and yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to choose kind of a teal color for the highlights. Um, I don't know what I'm going to, I'm just going to eyeball this, you know, that's what I do most of the time. People don't believe it, but it's how I like to do things. So here we have kind of a nullish color. See, actually, I want to let me try 180. It's looking a little bit too saturated still, so I'm gonna go down just just a notch. Okay, and but we're gonna go here to the to the color panel, and we're gonna mess around with these colors. Now remember, this is you edit however you want to do. This is just this is my my way of doing things. It's a lot of going back and forth. And uh, yeah, let's see, I'll look at this color again. Okay, it's not that saturated, not that contrasty, but we'll change that later. First, we're gonna change the yellows, kind of a greenish color. So I'm gonna push them. You don't have to go all the way, but just kind of look at it and however it looks you decide <clears throat> so that's looking okay and uh, there's a lot of blue here way too much blue we're gonna tone that down so we're gonna go to this and just gonna eyeball it actually I kind of like I kind of like that one let's see it's still really saturated let's just uh, tone it down probably by a lot something like that there's some purple involved so I'm gonna mess around with uh, the temperature this time okay that's probably too much got to tone it down there I kind of like that <coughs> now the problem is it looks a little too dark for me, so I'm gonna come, come around and play with the tone curve. Now, like I say, this is just the way I like to do things and uh, people have their own way, so whatever you choose to do is fine. I'm gonna bring up the shadows and the darks right here, make it a little bit brighter. I don't like to always do global changes. Sometimes I like to be more precise and uh, if you're afraid of the tone curve, don't be. You can uh, do some crazy shit, just, uh, but I like subtle changes like this. So, yeah, I think that's looking much better already. Not too crazy though. Let's see, bring this one down a little bit. Okay, and maybe here too. Like I said, this is there is no preset for this. You just kind of have to eyeball it and do it the way that you want to do. And I'm liking that already. So come over here. We're gonna lower the contrast. There is a lot more green involved over here. So I'm gonna lower the contrast just a little bit. go and I do want more green 
So probably in the shadows. Okay, that's a little too much. Okay, actually I don't like that. So as you can see, there's a lot of back and forth. I mean, the imagination is uh, your limit basically. So I'm gonna use a gradient just because that's what I feel like doing. And we're gonna see how it looks. Okay, I don't like the yellow, but I do, I do kind of like this. I like the green in the buildings. I am not liking the green here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush, reduce the saturation, just like that. Now I, I am aware that I'm reducing it by quite a bit, but that's fine. We just uh, leaving the saturation at minus 100 so we can see where the brush actually is. Now I'm gonna slowly creep up some color back in there. There we go. Finally, I want to do something about these uh, oranges. We're going to make them a little bit more yellow. So go back to our color panel, find orange, change them to yellow. And now we have something that more or less kind of resembles Akira. Akira. Now it ain't perfect, but like I said, you kind of have to go back and forth changing these kind of things, you know? So <clears throat> this is something you guys can practice working on. Lower the clarity a little bit. There you go. And this is just uh, my one of my takes on it. I mean, I can probably spend a whole hour on this editing exactly the way I want it, but I kind of want to give you a little process of how I edit uh, cityscape. So if you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe and thank you very much.